Raise your hand, raise your hand. Then your teacher understands when you raise your hand. A lot of research actually indicates the connection between music and cognitive development, social-emotional development, math and science. Semesters and semester will have different research projects like this one in particular we're concentrating on music. In years past we've had everything from exercise and nutrition and so it's always a benefit to the children that come here because it just provides unique opportunities. The idea behind this project was that we are going to take the different school readiness skills and identify the skills and then develop the song that can help us teach this type of skills. The inspiration was my own daughter. Uh, when she went to preschool, I went with her and all the way to kindergarten and first grade and, and now in second grade. And I really saw a problem in the system where kids weren't prepared transitioning from the very first steps of education, which is preschool into kindergarten, assuming that they're lucky enough to even get preschool, which isn't you know, necessarily something that you're gonna get in the first place. But a lot of the kids, when they were making that transition, just weren't prepared. To kick off this year's research, I taught for a week in the classrooms and I sang to the kids. And by doing that, it allowed me to really figure out gestures and hand motions and a, a lot of new activities that could really enhance the program and bring it forward in, in a new, more positive way. So we are taking these songs and we are teaching the teachers how to use them as educational tools. When the teachers are using this, this type of uh, music in the classroom, we are observing in the classroom and trying to see if indeed children do learn uh, these skills via the music. As teachers, we're, we use a lot of tools to help learn social behavior, and uh, the research, the music that we're using in the study basically has provided those tools, helping with everything from washing hands to sitting down, and it kind of gives it a, a new twist on things. Well, the songs have definitely helped with transition times. A lot of times we'll be in the bathroom and the children are using the bathroom and as soon as they're ready to wash their hands, they'll start singing it without any of prompting. And so I think that's a great thing because I've, I think in the last 10 years of teaching, that's the biggest struggle is to get somebody to wash their hands.